Miss Kathy, hi. Um, we're going to explore the Three Musicians by artist Pablo Picasso. Right here. And this painting, and yes, it's paint, although it looks like uh, paper and, and scissors, like Matisse, but no, it's actually paint. Um, you can clearly see there are three people in there, three people there. There's, uh, they're playing music. You have one holding a clarinet, you have another one playing a guitar, and another one, maybe over here, holding the sheet music, okay? But did you know there's a dog in the, photo, in the painting? Can you find the dog? Hmm. Uh, well, if you, if you look at it, it's right here, somewhere on the left side. It's behind the, the man with the white and blue outfit. And you can see his shadow behind him. And the body and the legs of the dog is underneath the table. I don't know, it's pretty cool. Who knows why Picasso included the dog, but maybe I'd like to think that maybe he's like listening to the music. Now for our own art project. Uh, I'm not going to use paint like Picasso. I'm gonna use paper and, and scissors and cut some whatever colored paper you have. I'll, ha I'll be using a few pieces of construction paper. I'll be using um, some colored pieces from a magazine. Make sure you ask parents first to cut out magazines if perhaps they're not done reading it. Or you can use whatever junk mail that happens to be in the mail. Again, you might wanna ask first. Okay, now it's time for our art. Now I'm not gonna recreate the three musicians by Picasso because I am no Picasso. We're just gonna create something. We're just gonna create a, a character, a person, not necessarily of me or it doesn't have to be of you, just a character. I have all my pieces cut out. Uh, we're gonna start off with the body. Choose, a co choose whatever color you'd like. I chose yellow, why? Why not? Okay. Remember, Picasso liked cubis, cubism, boxy things. So if it's okay to be boxy, it doesn't have to be a body shape, okay? So I'm just gonna make it a little more square. Or you could put some curves in it, you could, put, you could keep it square, whatever. Okay, look, there's my body. That's it. I'm going to put glue on the back. attach it maybe my body is going to go that way and I even put the words upside down I didn't even notice but it's upside down doesn't matter okay now for the head okay maybe I'll make my head diamond shaped or I don't know now I kind of think it looks like an ice cream that's okay cut off the chin part Put some glue and on top. It's not even round, doesn't matter. I'm gonna do some arms. So instead of straight arms, maybe I'll make an arm this way. do that this person will be waving who knows this one let's see what this one's doing this one's gonna go down this way oh that's a big elbow I'm gonna cut it I'm gonna trim it a little bit that's okay I like to find the Best patterns. Is it looking like a person yet? Bottom half. What's the bottom half gonna look like? Tuck it 
bender. So far so good? Mm, facial features. Maybe my person has a mask or a headband. Who knows? Oh yeah, look at that little eyes. Oh, that triangle eye, how's that? Ta-da! Ooh, the ninja. Hmm, what, what could this be Do you, Oh, maybe it's a smile. We need a smile. That's my dog. That's Peanut. Peanut! He's happy! See, look at this. Maybe he's playing with the ball. The blue. Or a frisbee, or whatever you want to call it. Shoes. Does he need shoes? Feet. He needs feet. I'll put some feet. One foot. Anything else I should add? Hair. Does he need hair? I'll make some hair. You know what? He's gonna have spiky hair. He's gonna be a punk rocker. I think we're gonna call it done. And with every art piece, you sign your name. All right, this is what this is what turned out. So I hope you like it. I think I kind of like it. Happy creating.